Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. Hey, this is Cash Carlson with Varminter Magazine, and today I'm going to give you a rundown of the 22 Creedmoor rifle and build, along with the uh, optics, bipod, and suppressor that I'm using. We started this project out using a CZ 550 American as the donor rifle. I got a hold of uh, Bruce at Mad Dog Weapon Systems and had him uh, build me a barrel. The barrel itself is a McGowan blank, 1 and 8 twist, 5 right, uh, 22 inches long, threaded with 5 8 by 24. Uh, the CZ action, of course, brought in a few problems. Being European, uh, and everything is not standard, so of course metric needed to be converted. I had him uh, uh, match the, the existing rifle or barrel profile uh, to match the American barrel of theirs to fit in the uh, factory wood stock. Um, the rifle itself is a controlled feed Mauser action, long action actually, um, and uh, detachable box magazine. With the detachable box magazine, I did have to modify it slightly so that the rounds would feed into the control feed Mauser action. I had to bend the mag lips out slightly because of the less taper on the Creedmoor case versus the 22250. That allowed uh, allowed the magazine to work properly using that cartridge. Uh, CZs, of course, have a, a single set trigger which means that you push the trigger forward to lighten the trigger pull. The optic that I am running is a Zeiss V6 3 to 18 by 50. This optic is absolutely, hands down, an amazing varmint and predator optic. One of my favorite on the market. It's being held together with worn rings. The, suppr the suppressor that I'm using is a Gemtech 1. Uh, and then I'm using a Roush Precision suppressor cover. I'm also running a Swagger Hunter 42. Uh, the versatility of these bipods just surpasses anything else I've ever used. I run one on every one of my Varmint and Predator rifles. So what I'm doing is I'm shooting the Sierra 64 grain Game Changer uh, at 3,700 feet per second. Uh, it also produces 1,944 foot-pounds of energy uh, at the muzzle. Um, when it comes to ballistics, this is a fairly flat shooting rifle. Uh, I'm only 1.5 inch drop at 200 yards. I am a 3 inch drop at 300 yards and at 500 yards I'm a 33 inch drop. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. The total cost of this rifle build, including the rifle and barrel, uh, was in that eleven to twelve hundred dollar range. I did get a really good deal on the donor rifle, and that really saved my cost in the end. There will be more details on the cost of this project, including all parts and pieces, in the article on Varmeter.com. Roll that beautiful rock chuck explosive video. I got him. I'm recording. Hey, it's Eric. Sorry to stop the video. I just want to let you know I'm not going to do a lot of speaking through the shots because it's pretty self-explanatory. I will drop in at the end and add some commentary. Hey, did you get that one? I got him. Yeah, I don't think so. Recording. What happened to him? Uh, he just disappeared. I have no idea. I think I hit the rock. Okay. You got it. Go.
170 yards. And I got him. If you got it. Okay, I'm back. So that last rock chuck, you can see the other one dead in front of it. And then you see us walking out to the island where Cash shot one earlier. Um, the average shots on these were about 250 yards, some up to 300. We had a few under 100. Um, however, we really wanted to push the Creed more out there, the 22 Creed more out there, which we did. You know, Cash made some great shots. You saw the wind. Um, we were getting gusts to 35 miles per hour, but he was still able to place the shots. And that goes to, you know, Cash's experience with shooting varmints, especially in weather, as well as the flat shooting and, you know, less windage on that 22 Creedmoor round, that 64 grain bullet just getting there quickly and having less time in the air, therefore less surface pressure from winds, etc. So when Cash did this build, um, I was in the process of doing a 22 Creedmoor build as well. I built mine on a Howa 1500 action and there'll be more information on that here probably by the end of the summer. But my experience, and you guys have seen before when we used the 69 grain, uh, the uh, Blitz Kings that we pulled of Sierra bullets, and we used the same rifle for that video, and then this was the original video with the 64 grain. So this build on the CZ action, you know, Cash loves CZs, as do I, and it just came out really well. It's very accurate. It performs consistently and cash behind the trigger just makes some excellent shots. So if you're looking to do a 22 Creed more, we will have more information over on our site in the article about this one. And then I will follow it up with more on my Howa 1500 build. And we're just hoping that one of the companies out there that make the 6.5 or the 6 Creed more will go ahead and offer the 6 millimeter Creed more. Of course, it needs to be Sammied. And we're looking at Horny D, we're looking at you guys, please do it. So as you can see us coming back with that rock chuck, you know, Cash is pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. We look pretty damn funny walking in uh, 300 speed, but we had a great day and it was awesome. We only used half the video that we filmed. We'll have more in teasers here and there. So click that video there. If you want to see the 69 grain Blitz King video, um, click to subscribe. And then there's a link to head over to our site and read the whole article. Thanks. We'll see you on barmature.com.